Excellencies and ladies and gentlemen, I think the fascinating thing about quantum technology is that it is about all the smallest parts of the world, but at the same time with a great importance. And as uh, the Danish scientist and father of quantum technology, Niels Bohr said, anyone who isn't profoundly shocked by quantum theory has not understood it. Uh, and now, uh, more than 100 years later, uh, I can only agree on that. And I have to say that we agree, the president and I, that you were the one to explain everyone what quantum is about. You forgot that in your uh, speech. <laughs> uh, but hopefully, um, uh, that will be um, what you are going to, to discuss uh, about the rest of the day. I have to tell you that I consider what you are working with as shocking. Uh, it is almost impossible for uh, the rest of us to understand. Um, but what we have understood in Denmark is that this is maybe one of the most important tasks to handle and to challenge. And I am very glad that so many of uh, our uh, Danes representative uh, here today, uh, business uh, from academia, uh, have chosen to work very closely together with Japan. Um, hopefully, uh, and I think we can already now be sure about this, this will help us in solving some of the major challenges uh, humans all over the globe are facing. Health care, uh, the climate crisis, biodiversity as you were talking about before, cyber security, um, it is extremely complex what you're dealing with. Um, and I think not least when we are talking about geopolitics, it, it, it comes with enormous risks and security threats. What you're dealing with has the potential to shift power in favor of whoever is first to develop it. So you have to be first. Uh, all of you gathered uh, here today we know now that our personal data could be at risk, financial records and critical infrastructure. And quantum technology will, might be able to determine the course of war uh, in the future. Um, so uh, the importance of this area is only to uh, increase and uh, therefore making our league on its development um, is only more important than it was uh, yesterday. Today, it, it's not uh, longer only an uh, academic field of interest. That's how it, it started. Governments uh, all over the world are uh, investing now. And NATO uh, is doing its part. Uh, the private sector is funding uh, more and more ambitious uh, programs. Startups are emerging uh, day by day. Um, it is science policy, of course, it is security policy, it is foreign policy, and it is economic uh, policy, uh, all at once. Um, as uh, one of the world leaders in quantum, Denmark has uh, taken, I would say, critical steps to respond to this uh, reality. Um, we have now uh, our own good ecosystem, quantum. Um, one of the main hubs for quantum technology uh, in the world today, um, where research and business can find each other. Um, but we know now, um, like in other important areas, that of course we cannot do it on our own. So um, building a stronger bridge, a bridge to Japan on this area is something that I am very thankful um, for. Uh, because no country in the world can unlock this great potential uh, on its own. We would like, as a country, to engage more with like-minded countries and partners, and Japan is on top of uh, that list. And the reason for that is not only because uh, of your uh, good academic uh, solutions and environments, it is also because our two countries share the same values. We believe in the same democracy, human rights, uh, international rule-based society. And because we are sharing the same important values, um, um, 
I would really like to underline the importance of you as businesses and uh, scientists working so closely together as you have uh, decided also uh, here today. So we have to share our knowledge, um, we have to cooperate, we have to build trust. Uh, I would like to say to finish up that the potential of quantum technology is mind-blowing. Um, and if we are to make the most out of it, um, and if we are to make sure that our values, that it work for our values, and the values that we believe in, uh, we really have to work uh, extremely closely together in this area. So I wish you, all of you, a good luck, um, whether you are a startup or a, a bigger business, or uh, you are working with this as a scientist, please work together to help us uh, politicians and human beings to solve some of the great challenges uh, of our time. Good luck today.